welcome back to the workbench. Today I'm going to be bringing you my review of the Beretta 92FS pistol. Before we get started, of course, everything is completely unloaded. There is no ammunition in the magazine or in the chamber, and there is no ammunition present on the workbench. This pistol here has an MSRP of $675. The cheapest I could find it as of April 2016 was $539, the average price being right around $599. This is a semi-automatic hammer-fired pistol. It is a full-size handgun chambered in the 9x19 Luger round. The average cost of that ammunition as of the making of this video is about $0.27 cents a round for the Winchester white box and about $0.79 cents a round for a good self-defense ammunition. The frame material is a Bruneton finished stainless steel, and so is the slide. Same thing, Bruneton finished stainless. It is a matte finish. The weight of the unloaded gun, as you see it right here, is 29.05 ounces. The weight of the empty magazine is 3.35 ounces. The weight together, 32.4. The weight of a full magazine is 5.55 ounces, and the weight of the loaded gun with a full magazine plus one in the chamber, a carry load, is 34.97 ounces, so over two pounds. It's a heavy gun. The overall length, as, for, as measured from the tip of the muzzle to the back of the frame here, is 8.52 inches. Overall height, as measured from the bottom of the inserted magazine to the top of the sights, is 5.5 inches. The overall width of the slide is 1.1 inches, the overall width of the grip is 1.36 inches. The widest part of the gun is 1.48 inches and that is the safety. The barrel length is 4.93 inches. They claim it's 4.9 on their website. The magazine capacity is 15 rounds, as you can see here. The trigger pull weight in single action mode is 4.75 pounds as tested on this pistol. The trigger type, of course, is double single action. The sights are a three dot pinned front, it's actually part of the slide, and a windage adjustable rear. The sights are made from steel. Safeties on this, there's an ambidextrous slide mounted safety and decocker. And there is also a loaded chamber indicator, which is extremely small, but basically it's the extractor that when a round is loaded, this extractor comes out just a little bit and it's not gonna show up on camera here, but there's a little bit of red on top of this extractor and that they consider a loaded chamber indicator. Intended purpose for this firearm is uh, not necessarily concealment, but I guess if you absolutely had to, you could conceal this firearm. Primarily home defense or personal defense. I have seen these used in competitions before, though it's usually not the first choice. And uh, of course, training. Unique features of this firearm. The open slide design, the fact that you can see and touch the barrel when the slide is fully forward. Options, well, there are some options for different colors for the frame as well as the slide. There are variations of the model. Of course, this is the 92FS. There are a few different variants of the 92. There are, of course, European models as well as some Italian police trade-ins. If, uh, if you really get on the internet and you find, you, you're looking around, you can actually find Italian police trade-ins of these guns. Um, they will, of course, have the European style magazine release versus the American style magazine release. Accessory availability. Well, this is not a new gun, but even with that, the aftermarket accessories kind of seem to be anemic. I, I guess there really isn't a whole lot of, of market for it, but they are out there. And uh, just like anything else, you can upgrade different parts uh, if you look hard enough. But now the meat and potatoes of this review, and that is Firing test comments, what did I think of the Beretta 92 uh, FS here? Well, unlike other double action triggers that, uh, you know, double, double action hammer fired pistols, this one is incredibly long. And I want to see if I can demonstrate this for you. So we'll start here. This is 
full let out for the trigger. As we start to depress, you can see the hammer move and move and move and move. And it, it just, the trigger travels so far. Here it is, fully depressed. And there it is, fully out. It is such a long double action trigger travel that it makes getting accurate hits with it nearly impossible. Um, of course, you could go into single action mode or after you fire in double action, the slide will put it into single action mode. And from here, it's a very short, crisp trigger pull every single time. And we work the slide here. The reset is also very predictable, very audible, very tactile. You can feel it. Uh, there is a little play, but it is a double single action trigger. I, uh, I actually like it in single action a whole lot better than I like it in double action, which is not always the case for me. Sometimes I prefer a uh, double single action trigger in double action. This gun is heavy overall. Um, it's also incredibly large. It's got a big footprint, uh, over eight inches long, over five inches tall. It's not a small, lightweight, compact gun. This is not going to be something that you would carry around as concealment every single day. Of course you could, but probably not. You're probably better off getting the compact version of the Beretta 92. They actually make those. It's interesting and uh, is a little shorter overall. If you're really stuck on Beretta and you really like the 92 series, then I would look at the 92 compact. There, of course, are many other concealed carry options from Beretta. This firearm would work very well as a home defense firearm uh, to those familiar with the design. So former law enforcement or military personnel who carried this as a duty weapon, it's a very familiar design to them. So they would feel probably incredibly comfortable using this as a, uh, as a home defense or even a personal defense firearm. That's not to say if you weren't in the military or law enforcement that this wouldn't feel comfortable to you. It's a good gun. It, uh, it shoots consistent. Unfortunately, with the way the sights are set up on this loaner, I was unable to get accurate hits, though I was able to get consistent hits. All that said, I think that uh, capacity for this firearm, chambered in a 9x19, as big as it is, is lacking. And I only say that because a similar size firearm from a competitor like uh, Glock or Smith & Wesson or, uh, or something like that holds two more rounds, you know, 17. And maybe I'm nitpicking here, but, uh, but I think they could have gotten a couple additional rounds in this magazine. I'm sure there are aftermarket parts out there like Mag Guts or something like that where you can replace the springs and get that 17 round capacity. But in its stock configuration, it is only 15 rounds. Of course, I say only 15 rounds, but 15 rounds is very good capacity. So that really sums it up. Uh, recoil on this was incredibly manageable. Like I said, this single action trigger is just a dream. I mean, it's, it's really, really nice. It's not a, uh, a match trigger or anything like that, but uh, it is a very nice single action trigger. So that kind of sums it up. The Beretta 92 is a great gun. Um, 15 rounds of capacity is, is a lot, but it's not as much as its competitors. And uh, that double action trigger is just heavy and long, incredibly long. I don't think the weight has as much to do with the inaccuracy that I was seeing with a double action as it did as it was the length of trigger travel. So uh, great gun to get. Again, average price for these is right around $599. So if you can find it cheaper than that, you're finding a pretty good deal. And if you don't mind looking around on the internet for a used one, then I would consider a used 92 series pistol. If you're looking for something a little more exotic, you could always look for a European style Beretta 92 series uh, or maybe an Italian police trade-in. So with that, I'll say thank you all very much for watching. I will talk to you again very soon.